Hi, I'm Vanessa. And I'm Sarah. And we'll be answering your questions about legal and illegal big cat trade. Let's get for it. All right, so what is the difference between legal and illegal trade? Really simply, one is breaking the law and one is not. And we tend to use uh, the CITES trade database as a way to monitor legal trade. So it gives a really good idea of which animals are in demand. And you can also see the purposes for which they're being traded. So it gives a really, really good idea of um, the legal trade. And then for a legal trade, we have to use things like seizure data to try and understand that side of things. Okay, so why did people start intensively breeding big cats? People saw the money, essentially. It's quite easy to breed big cats because when you take away the cubs from a very young age, the mother goes straight back into Easterus, which means that she's ready to breed pretty quickly after that. So this is a continuous cycle. It's called intensive breeding. After the cubs um, start to grow and they become juveniles, that's when you might see things like walk with opportunities. And then when they become much larger and they become a bit um, more dangerous to handle, that's when things like trophy hunting start to come into play. And this is obviously can trophy hunting because the animals have been bred in captivity. So they are trophy hunted in a kind of like in enclosed space. So essentially they've been intensively bred, not at all for conservation purposes. After watching Tiger King, I was horrified at the practice of forced mating. How can we stop this? The way that we can stop this is by ensuring that you don't visit a facility that does um, allow forced mating. And obviously this isn't something that a facility is going to advertise as such, but the things that you really need to look out for are breeding of big cats and interaction with cubs. And the cubs are so lucrative and these facilities know it. They advertise it and you know, they have an influx of people who go and cuddle these babies essentially. Um, why is it so common to see big cats used as props in ads, movies, or on social media? And the problem when that happens is that it gives the impression that it's an okay thing to do, that it's not cruel. It is cruel, and this is something that we should be moving away from. People have always been captivated by them, especially like 2022 is Year of the Tiger, hence our report. Thank you. Okay, so, um, what can we do to pressure governments? It's really great to tell them how important an issue is to you. So do sign the petitions, do write to your MP if you can. And the other thing to do is obviously just talk to your peers, talk to your friends, your families. If someone goes to a facility where they are cub petting or interacting with big cats, politely point out that perhaps that might not have the best outcome for those animals. Mm -hmm.